Race 26 is the Master Spudge, female two maiden chase. Active is Leon Van Winsberg, Gary Elliott, Debbie Ladd, Colvin Jewel, Pontypool Racing, Grudge Belt, James Shea, Little Rock Kingdom, Winnie Jr., Tower Hamlet, Pontypool Racing, Balladeer, Ivor, Davy Ladd, Cliff Father, Romeo, Hollywood, Night Escapade, John Morgan, and Dick B. Complaining. Well, something to that hilt for Derek Hinton. And they're running. And Corbin's Raw, first one to show, but only by LM. Activists in second on the inside. Brandy's Night Escapade. And then Tower Hamlets. The slow pace to start us off, and now Tower Hamlets decided that this is not quick enough for him. Let's come through to pick it up. And he's been followed through by Cafada Romeo. He's now in second, two limbs off him. In a straight, then head towards the first fence, a good one towards them. They come towards it, and there, Tower Hamlets jumped it a couple limbs clear of Night Escapade. Corbin's will jump in the next one. When they jumped it really a big day was Activist. The top horse on the car, they come to the ditch. And once we see him go over it, and they all jump it safety down what will be last in two seconds' time. Tower Hamlets jumps it well clear now. Next escapade in second. In third is Corbin's Raw. Balladeer I was in fourth. On the inside is Activist. They jump in the water. They all jumped it safely. And it's Tower Hamlet. A couple M's clear on Night Escapade in second. Corbin's Raw on the inside. And then comes Activist and Balladeer Hiver. Here you have yet. And then comes Grudge Belt. Little Rock Kingdom <coughs> Back here are Clefunda Romeo and Tickabitty complaining. That's it, Takipi complaining. Well, somebody's complaining. The Tower Hamlets is clear of the field at the moment. From Night Escapade in second. Corbin's Raw back in third. And then comes Balladeer Hyber in fourth. Activist back in fifth. They jump in that one, again down the centre of the course, on the far side, and the tower arm jumps that well, five limbs clear, that escapade in second, Corbin's Raw and Balladier Iva, here he had Grudge Belt, Cuffold of Romeo, Activist, follows these, oh we lost Activist there, he's having shifted his ride up, so what, probably what everybody thought might be the horse to beat, has gone, he's lost his pilot, and Liam Almersberg won't be on the winner today at Ludzo. He's going to swing right handed. Tom Lamlets. Five or six stems clear. Balladier Ivory in second. They swing back towards the straight again. Still, well, I was thinking left to run, so plenty of time. And the runners heading back home. Tom Lamlets. Three to four stems clear. Balladier Ivory in second. Then Night Escapade and Area Hellet, and Confunder Romeo, Corbin's Ward, Grudge Belt, Little Rock Kingdom, and Tickaby complaining. It's the being ridden along at the rear of the field, but he's still in touch. And he's right behind Little Rock Kingdom. Jump in the next, and again, next one they come to is the ditch. And tell him, let's make your way down towards it. He's jumping much better today. He jumps that one up. Not clean, go it quick and well. Four limbs clear, maybe from that escapade in second. The blast next time round, he jumped that one a bit high, a bit slow, and he's only landed three limbs clear on that escapade. But he's joined by Grudge Belt, and they jump in the water. Grudge Belt is Balladier Island, and Gifford of Romeo, all well there, along with Little Rock Kingdom and Area Elliot. Then comes Corbin's Raw, I've just been pressed out the back by the improving ticket we can play in him. Let's bring past the golf house. Golf clubhouse and tower hamlets. Trying to make all year. There's two limbs clear still from Harry Elliott in second. On the outside, Grudge Belt on the inside of him in third. Right on the far side, that's that night escapade in the yellow 
cap with the blue silks. Behind these is Cafelda Romeo, a jump in that one. That Mark and now Corbin's were always finding this a bit up. They're heading towards the next, and as they do so, it's Tell Hamlets by a length. On my second place, Grudge Belt, back in third night, Escapade. Then comes Cafelda Romeo, Little Rock Kingdom. Oh, we lost a couple there, and both David, David Lads, Eerie Elliot, and Ballad Deer I were both well went there. Oh, that's a disappointing for Davy. They jump in the ditch. As they do so, Davy Lad leads. That's not Davy Lad. Tell <laughs> leads by two lanes with Gretz Belt in second. Little Rock Kingdom in third. And then behind these Nat Escapade to keep it easy, complaining. Cafferda won't be in Corbin's War Lux. So the only one beaten at the moment. They're swinging back towards the straight. They got just under four four left to run, four fences left to jump. And the next one is a, it's another plane one, two planes, a ditch and another plane to finish it off. And now Tellarms is being passed by Grudge Belt. And Grudge Belt has gone on by a length from Tellarms. Little Rock Kingdom is right there in front of the jump in the first. And Little Rock Kingdom jumped out. Well, as did Night Escapade, in fact. And these four and out clear of the Derek Inton pair. They jump in the third last on the water ditch. And Grudge Belt leads by over. Well, then Night Escapade, Little Rock Kingdom giving a high chase with uh, Tom Ramlet to jump that well. These are well clear, this is going to be one of these four then. And it's Grudge Belt by a length still from his second place. Night Escapade who jumped that slowly. And now Grudge Belt drawn three lengths clear, Little Rock Kingdom running on the challenge. Night Escapade for second, but it's going to be a win for Grudge Belt and James Shea. Little Rock Kingdom back in second. Night Escapade third. Then was Tom Ramlet's. In fourth, and they were well clear of the Derek Inton pair. But a win for James Shane, Grudge Belt, the outside of the field. Grudge Belt.